How's it going everyone? Welcome to Double Pepper. So tomorrow will be our giveaway. If you have not joined it, do go to our Facebook fan page and join the giveaway because I'm giving out 3 World Best Best 15 pack including World Legends. So it could be a chance to get some crazy World Legends. Alright, today we are going to be looking at a camp. Now I don't really review camps because I don't use them, I don't like them. I'll talk about them later in the review because there are certain things that I don't like. But nonetheless, we will review them from time to time. We are looking at Rui Costa today, so let's start off by looking at his stats. I did review a CC Rui Costa if I'm not wrong, and I think he was pretty okay. He's got a good height to him for camps, 18074kg. Very good strength, if I'm not wrong, he's one of the strongest camps physically okay, in the server right now. Very good stamina, good pace to him, 92 sprint, 88 acceleration. I did a quick check, okay, amongst World Legends, he is one of the fastest camps around. Very good jump as well, 88, you are not expecting that to be honest. And then he's got decent agility, not fantastic but decent. And then balance is above average as well. Dribbling and ball control are good, we know that he's Portuguese, he's technical. And then crossing is good, short passing is good, finishing is very bad to be honest. And then long passing of course, short power is good as well, long shots, volleys. All of them are not bad. Short curve, free kick, penalty, interceptions is quite bad. Positioning is 91. Wow, okay, and reaction is 90. If we look at his stats, right? He is actually a pretty perfect player in terms of stats because other than his defensive stats, right, and his goalkeeping stats, of course, all his stats are above 80. So that is a good thing. His stars, goal master is a crosser, he's a dribble master, okay, sniper, freaky master, target man, okay, wing player, acrobatic and tanker. Work rate, not exactly ideal for camp because it's mid-low. He does have the useless leadership. Skill move king that's important, sniper as well as playmaker trait. Okay, price wise currently quite expensive, uh, 2.5 billion. Average is only 1.8, so he's currently on the expensive side. But nonetheless, we will look at his in-game analysis before deciding if he is worth it. Okay, so first of all, we have to talk about his physicality. Now, physically, I really believe that he's one of the strongest camps currently in the server. He's really able to protect the ball very well, okay? You really feel that strength, that hardiness coming from him. Similar to Francesco Totti, actually. Both of them are more physical in terms of their play unlike say Ronaldinho or uh, Kaka or you know players like Iniesta that kind of thing those are creative players but physically not there whereas Rui Costa is creative as well as physical so that is a good strength pace wise he's really one of the fastest around and you can really be assured that if it comes to a foot race if he doesn't come out with defenders they are crazily upgraded like a plus 9 world best Ferdinand or something like that I think you are fine he should be able to outpace most players but the problem is that as a camp you don't really get the chance to stretch his legs a lot because camps don't get to sprint as much as strikers or wingers camps normally right the most important thing is their dribbling their ball control their passing that sort of stuff all right next thing is that he's a pretty smooth player to use i would i would have to admit it okay his ball control is good his dribbling is good good agility and balance honestly controlling him on the pitch is very nice as you can see i was able to twist and turn with him very well i was able to beat defenders very well with him so he does have the very easy smooth kind of feeling on the pitch when you control him if you don't know the opposite right just try to use drop bar or beer off or even world legend ferdinand you will know what i mean between smooth and not smooth all right he's also able to stay up on his feet very well now this one i observed many times during my games because i have to try and dribble with him because that's how camps perform he gets tackled quite a lot because i'm not a good dribbler and surprisingly or non surprise not surprisingly he stayed on his feet very well a lot of times and he maintained possession even after getting tackled so that is so important for camps especially if you like to dribble a lot if you get tackled and you lose the ball you lose the attack okay you get countered but if you can maintain the possession sometimes it gives you a goal scoring opportunity very prolific goal scorer as well now i didn't purposely try to let him score like i did with some of the strikers 
I just played a natural game with him and he did score quite regularly for me. I think 5 out of 6 games or 4 out of 6 games, something like that. So he was pretty good. That being said, right, we will now go into the weakness. Although he's a prolific goal scorer, I don't think he's a very good assist maker. Surprisingly, as a cam, even though I keep trying to pass to him, like purposely pass to him, he did not make a single assist for me if I'm not wrong. All he does is score, so that might be an issue because your cam right has to be able to make both assists and score goals. So that might be an issue or a concern for cam users or for Rui Costa user. Defensively as well, now this is a big problem for camps. I will talk a little bit about this in detail. Defensively he's very weak, but that is not really his fault, it's just his position. So as a camp, I feel that normally Cam, if you still don't know why it's Cam, is central attacking midfielder. Attacking midfielder, their main goal is to attack or to link up the midfield and the attack. So what they do is, I feel that they don't drop back as much as compared to center midfielders. So if you're on a counter or if your opponents are countering, you will find your Cam running back and then stop normally around the halfway line. And your Cam will just lobo there. Okay, look at the grass, look at his friends, look at the sky, look at the birds flying and generally don't take part in defensive play so what i find is that if you use a cam you lose a little bit of defensive stability as compared to using standard midfielders whereby they will really come back and defend on the edge of their own penalty box cams really don't care one they will never be at the edge of their own penalty box unless you control them okay so that might be a big problem and in fact it's a big big problem for me and that's why i don't use cam all right all right all in all if i were to rate him as a cam i would say that he is maybe an 8.5 out of 10 because he's pretty good in terms of all-round ability he is able to score goals he is adequate defensively not the best in terms of defensive ability amongst all players that will be the cms or the cdms but in terms of camps, he's there, he's able to score header surprisingly. He's got one crazy header whereby he came in from deep like a missile and then scored a power header into the top corner. He's also pretty solid and skillful, able to twist and turn. So in terms of the overall feel of him, he's roughly an 8.5. But then again, I don't use camps. I don't like camps. I gave you guys the reason why. Let me know in the comments below whether, whether you guys agree with me but i do think that camps would be useful for those that like to play fast counter attacking games because your camps is essentially one important player for you to link up your defense to your attack because if you want to play fast you tra your transition has to be fast defense to attack defense to attack so a camp with his positioning would be useful i play a very slow possession style so being a cam or a cm doesn't really make a difference for me is he worth it i'll say if you are using a cam right for 2.5 billion it is a pretty good deal for someone like him considered an all-round all-action type of cam so definitely much better compared to totti in terms of stats because there's no world legend totti yet so he does seem good value if you like to use cams but if you want to win, or if you prefer a more defensively solid kind of play, I would say don't use camps, okay, just use center midfielders. They are going to score you a lot of goals. I'm using Gullet and Pogba, and they score a lot of goals. At the same time, they do a lot of defensive work, alright? And that is all I have for this review video. Once again, I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for your support for all this time. I really really appreciate all your support and continue to support me that would be nice drop a like on this video if you enjoy my review videos and don't forget to hit the subscribe button i think right there might be a chance that i may be able to play people online for next time when it is launched in korea i don't know i got the installation but currently it cannot work anyway if i get to play f4 of course i will make videos and show you guys all right and then i'll see you next time